Animal communication is not easy. What if I told you that? Well, I'm telling you that. Animal communication is not easy, but it is rewarding. So when I say that, would you still want to learn animal communication? What if I also said to you that animal communication will facilitate you to live your life intuitively? What if I was to say to you, animal communication is going to benefit you when it comes to improving your communication skills? And what if I also was to tell you that through animal communication, you are going to uncover a sense of purpose within yourself? Does that give you a different take to why you may want to or consider or let me persuade you to embark on a path where you want to learn to master animal communication. So what's the difference between learning and mastering animal communication? Kind of two trendy words right now. Well, learning animal communication is actually the simple part. That's the easy part because those random thoughts that you get or the information that just comes to you without trying, that's the easy part of animal communication. That's the fun part too. And when you want to communicate with your animals or animal species as a whole, then we do need to understand how to use this ability that we have within us to bring the information that we are seeking from our pets and other animals. So that's the mastery bit. That's the bit that is not easy, but remember is rewarding. So for me, I have become a person whereby I really trust my intuition these days as a result of really polishing up my telepathic and intuitive senses because of my desire to use animal communication in a way to understand my own animals better. Because in order to understand them better and speak the interspecies language, I've had to polish up my intuitive senses. What if I also said that as a result of improving my communication skills, I've actually, well, let's say, 85%, 90% of the way, stopped being a big people pleaser, which was something I've carried all my life. So how would animal communication as a way of me learning it and mastering it help me improve my communication skills? Well, because communicating with my animals and other people's animals, I soon learn that in order to really have a good conversation, a meaningful conversation with them, I need to look at my own ability to communicate well. So I embarked on that. And as a result, not only do I have good communication skills with animals, I am beginning <laughs> to have better ones with the human world. And as a result of having better communication skills, I realized the people pleaser in me didn't have to manifest itself. So that was a, a real win. How about this sense of purpose? For me, being able to connect in with my animals through animal communication, I realize that them coming into my life is no accident. There's always a reason, whether it's through struggling with them or through just pure sharing moment by moment with them. What it did was it really helped me to look inwards at the kind of relationship that I want with my own animals. And as a result, it helped me to go through a, a, a period of personal development. Well, it's ongoing, but it just feels so good because it's related to my purpose with my animals. So this is, this is the three elements I'm going to be covering in my live event on the 28th and 30th of May. If this has intrigued you, I would love to invite you to sign up 
for this free event, 28th to the 30th of May, and we'll be covering your intuitive uh, sense, we'll be looking at communication skills, and we will be looking at the purpose of using animal communication in our relationships with our animals. So I look forward to seeing you. If you are uh, wanting to join me, just put in the comments, com uh, register, and I'll send you the link to save your free spot. Okay, thank you.